Corn Cob, Missouri Mersham. It's a nice change. Usually smoke it on my bike, but the weather's been so bad lately. I've just not uh, not been out a great deal. It's only been about 11 degrees today, and quite a bit of rain. Terrible weather for summer. Typical British summer. Smoking mile one tonight, which is Holger Dansk's Amber Magic. There you go. It's got a fantastic smell in the jar. Fruity, very fruity. Vanilla and then oranges, tangerines, that type of smell. It's a very mild tobacco, typical Danish. But its crowning glory really is the smell in the jar because the, the flavour is not very prominent. You can smoke it pipe after pipe all day long and that's for nicotine hit well you'd really have to search for it it's uh, the smell itself and the slight orangey taste when you're smoking it this reminds me a little bit of uh, Germain's medium flake I think it was that's got a, a very pronounced orange taste, much more orange taste than this one. If you're looking for an orange taste then try the Germains, it's good. I reviewed it a while back. Pretty sure it was the medium flake, I've not smoked it for months, but I think that's what it was. But uh, the actual tobacco itself, it's very attractive, it's, it's Black Cavendish, Burley and Virginia. And it's got the brown and the golden colour flex and the black cavendish darkness to it it's not a particularly sweet blend I would have expected it to be a lot sweeter but it's not really that sweet it's um, it's not that inspiring I mean, it's okay if you're into the mild ones you might get something for it but it's like the old argument I always say with cheese. I mean, I like a nice strong cheddar or a blue cheese, which has got a bit of a kick to it, but people keep telling me that camembert, uh, and that type of cheese, are good. I'll try them, and I say, still can't taste much in them. And I know my tastes are good because I get the taste out of good strong tobaccos and medium tobaccos, no trouble, but it's not a great deal going on with this one, in my estimation. It's um, it's very toned down. The smell in the jar with a lot of these mild Danish tobaccos is quite deceiving. You you think, wow, this is going to be great. It's got a fantastic fruity smell or bread shop smell or a real sweet honey taste smell about it but the, the smoke itself isn't really that inspiring I think up to now the best, the best one I've had is probably the um, uh, I think it was the Holger Dance double fermented which is quite luscious it's got a nice sweetness to it and good flavour quite full bodied but uh, well this one the Amber Magic I think they used to call it uh, uh, Vanilla Magic if I'm not mistaken it's just not got a great deal going for it. Maybe I need to smoke more of it to get into it, but I'm I'm not that impressed really. Anyway, give it a go, see what you think. Just thought I'd share it with you. And my uh, little corn cob. Anyway guys, have a good night. Hope your weather's better than ours. Thanks for watching.